and it's headphones nail. to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a slightly compact but also kind of detailed, I'm hoping, review or set of reviews for this week. So um, most of it's going to be related to my initial review of Doom 2 Legacy of Rust and some of the stuff going on with that. But I did also have a chance to watch a TV show and play some Roller Coaster Tycoon. So to get the TV show review out of the way, um, I was browsing around Amazon Prime and I saw a recommendation for season one of Batman Caped Crusader. So I was like, well, I am a big Batman fan, so let me take a look at that, see what it's all about, give it a watch, see if I like it. And overall, it was a pretty good, or it is a pretty good show. It's styled a little bit after like the Batman animated um, series, but more along the lines with some theming of you know, around like the 50s and 60s style of Batman, so it has that little bit of retro look. Um, think of like Captain America, um, the first Avenger when we're back in, you know, 60s and 70s and things like that. Kind of, kind of that look and feel, but um, also along the styles of Batman the Animated Series. So um, with that, overall definitely worth watching. The, the voice acting is good, the storylines are about what you would expect, so less focus on his origin story and more on the origin of different villains. So you have, you know, your usual corrupt cops, and then the creation of um, the Joker, uh, Harley Quinn, um, Harvey Dent as Two Face, and all of that. So I definitely recommend giving it a watch. Um, if you watched, like, you know, the animated Batman the animated series or any of the um, other Batman properties as far as the cartoons and stuff go, then it's not going to be anything new or too new or unusual or different, but it is styled very well. So for me, um, that's why I recommend giving it a watch. So nothing to say there. Otherwise, I give it a good grade of about an A, worth watching, entertaining from start to finish, and um good good um stylization on batman's part as far as the detective stuff goes as well um so with that being said i also had a chance to play roller coaster tycoon so i played a level in the ruby group called barony bridge um i did try it out um before a little bit and the weird thing about it is that when you're looking at the park or the you know the level and park originally it looks like you have a big area to work with but is it's actually deceptively smaller where it's more of a skinny and long park and where you have to build a park around the bridge and take it from there to me make the guest and park rating requirement so uh, once you figure that out then it's pretty straightforward to build from there so my recommendation for the level is to start building from the bridge and work your way out um, because it's on water like the last like last week's level on the pier um, you do have, it does throw you off a little bit as far as um, building and things like that, how deep the water is, the level is, and things like that. But, um, and also I think like pricing is a little bit higher than normal, but um, like I said, once you start, if you start building from the bridge and work your way out, you'll eventually reach the limits of the park. So you'll get that kind of pseudo square so you know how far out you can go. So I recommend starting with like a roller, like a wooden roller coaster, one of the long ones. So you have a roller coaster ride to work with as an initial guide. Um, start building your stalls and shops and things like that. And then start building some smaller rides. And then as you get um the research and development done on additional rides start building those out as well like a uh, the log ride and various other ones as well so um it's pretty easy and straightforward to get to the um guess quote and all that and you know do things like run promotions and um adjust the pricing and things like that so you continue to make money to build more stuff and as you do that, you'll just have more and more people coming in. Um, it will get very tightly packed, so it will get a little bit hard to build new stuff, find places to build rides and queue lines and all of that. But if you leave enough of, you know, square spaces and, you know, just general 
spaces to build stuff then you should be okay and it'll be pretty straightforward to get to the guest requirement just make sure you're um leaving enough room to keep building rides and um all that and then of course do the simple thing eventually that once you have enough rides built to have the cleaning maintenance guys going around building cleaning the pathways um, because there's no grass and it's a relatively small park it's pretty easy to have a bunch of cleaning guys to go around cleaning pathways have enough maintenance guy to keep the rides um, um, up and running and maintain and also fix them as they break down so you have a get a or your park rating continues to be good based on that and that's really about it it's a pretty straightforward park from there a little bit time consuming but um if you take your time mostly because it does it is a little bit hard to build on the water and build it in a, such a small area but you don't necessarily have to expand the park you just have to know the limits of the park size and um how to build from there so with that being said um as far as my doom 2 legacy of rust gameplay goes i did have a chance to finish playing the first new episode the vulcan abyss so overall i did enjoy it quite a bit it does get progressively harder and harder to the point where um for most of it i was able to keep god mode off but i want to say in the second half i did have to turn it on because we do have a bunch of those buff vampires a lot of barons of hell a lot of um um damaging floors and things like that so um, that aside, the level design is particularly noteworthy. I recommend that part highly. Like the visuals are really good. Um, it's, it is very puzzling, as in um, it's very puzzle esque, where you have to go around finding stuff and, and like the keys and pathways, remembering where you went, remembering where doors are, and all of that. So um, overall, definitely worth playing. Um, so as far as Vulcan Abyss goes, I, def I recommend it. And so far, having just started as of this recording, the second episode, Counterfeit Eden, um, Vulcan Abyss is the easier of the two episodes. Um, I started playing the second one and it was particularly difficult. So I'm going to have God Mode on for that one just so I can enjoy, I can enjoy that episode and spend more time figuring out the levels and puzzles. To the point where like the second level in the second episode i spent a lot of time in the first half of the episode trying to figure out where the keys are where to go what to look for where the switches are i was missing a few things here like a couple of switches i think to progress but i was eventually able to get to finding it and um progressing into the level so um with that being said that particular individual gameplay is going to be for that level is longer than usual just because like the first half of it is um, me trying to figure out what to do after I get past the initial area. So um, that and that's one of those things where yes, it is daunting to get past that stuff. So like for an amateur player like me, it is going to be harder to defeat the levels and it's going to take that much longer. But um, having God mode on allows me to do things like that to get um, through the level, spend time figuring it out instead of having to worry about um, damage and health and all of that um, it's one of those things too where I that's why I also don't turn on unlimited ammo because I do want that to I still want there to be some sort of factor of having to get through and making sure I have enough ammo to, when I run out um, how I'm gonna go around finding more ammo or beat the um, various demons and stuff like that but um, overall, the one thing I will give both levels or both episodes is that the level design is great, the visuals are beautiful, and it's overall it's just it's one of those things where it's fun to watch or look at the levels and play them because they've spent a lot of attention to detail. Um, so to round out this episode, I did want to mention that something I thought about after I finished the episode was I've never actually put up a long play version of any of the gameplays that I usually do so like in this case I've never put up a video where I have one long video of a playthrough to, through an entire episode so what I did for the Vulcan Abyss is I merged all the gameplay videos into one video so if you want to watch them all back to back just in one sitting to see how it flows you can now do that um, it's already up and posted and all that so I'll have a link in the show notes 
if you want to check it out. Um, the only thing I don't like, and this is more of a me thing, is that um, I thought about it after I finished the level, so I didn't have the source video file, so I did have to use the YouTube backups that I have, like where it lets you download your own videos again, so the quality is not the usual quality of um, the gameplay videos. Uh, I'll have a link in the show notes to the gameplay playlist, so if you want the you know high quality version of it, then you can still definitely um, watch those. But if you want the single long, it's like three hour over three hour video to just watch it from A to Z, then you can do that. It's not going to be HD or anything, so that's the only downside. But to that point, um, for Counterfeit Eden, I am saving my gameplay videos. So I'm going to do the same thing where I convert it into a single long play video and put it up on YouTube. I think it should upload fine into I think, 2 or 4K. So um, once that's done, I'll have that posted and shared. But um, just know for the Vulcan Abyss, that's the reason why it's not in the usual um, HD quality, just because I didn't have the source files. But I did want to put it up there just to see um, just some general workflow of doing it, see if it's something that I can do again down the road or anything like that. But um, hope you guys enjoy it and all that so the link to that video as well as the gameplay playlist with all the videos for the um legacy of rust will be in the show notes so that's actually all there is for this particular episode and review and all of that stuff so as far as next week goes um i'm going to continue the legacy of rust gameplay so i figure i should be done with counterfeit eden by next week's episode so i'll have that reviewed as soon as I have the long play video um, merged and uploaded and all that, I'll share that. Um, As far as stuff to watch, I haven't really found stuff, um, something to watch. So whatever comes up, I'll end up reviewing that. I'll have the usual roller coaster tycoon gameplay. Um, but that's not really about it. It's been kind of quiet as far as stuff on the watching, the stuff to watch front. So as stuff comes up, I'll watch it and review it and all of that usual good stuff. But that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in and 